See, a lot of people in my culture, a lot of people like, not in my culture, but a lot of people my age, probably a little younger, don't know as much about you. So, you, and you know, they just, they learning, a, they learning a little bit more about you just through the, the Ricky Rose thing and a free rate. They can't learn thing. nothing about no me and with that, that dude. Yeah, I mean, and they, and they really don't know. And that it's dude just like, that dude don't know nothing about, he just, he just saw a hot name. You know what I'm saying? He thought it was abandoned. You know, he thought I was going to get a life sentence without, well, I had a life sentence, so he thought I was never getting out. So you see, he just made, you know, made himself uh, helpful to it. But he, if he really, if he really, really would have known me, he would have retched out. I really would have, I, no, no bullshit, though. I really would, I was like, I, I wish this nigga would have just like did his thing with, with Rose. I wish I would have just really intertwined and connect because I felt like I tried it was to. there, man. I tried to, but, you know, it, it was probably... For him, I can understand, it's scary. Yeah. Here you are, you build this persona. They put millions of dollars into you. And now you got to tell the world that you were fake. And see, when you got out of jail, too, and then you, you had a life sentence, and a lot of people like my age and shit like that, like, a lot of... The, sometimes they be like, man, man, that nigga a snitch. And I'm like... How you feel about he that? Because I know that, that he shit. Said, he said that. Yeah. We got the internet, right? Damn right. What can you not find out about the internet? Who, who hasn't saw me on the internet? So the guy that I told on, he never saw me on the internet? Right. He, he never spoke out about it. He never said, man, that motherfucker told on me. Go and look on the internet and find that guy. Mm -hmm. Find the one that can say that. Yeah, because I mean, because... Everybody else looking up everybody paperwork, but you your paperwork is just so complex to motherfuckers. You feel me? Because but you, you don't even need paperwork. Yeah, you ain't even got a guy. You ain't got one person to stand up and say, "Man, he told on me." Right. With the internet, they, they had the internet. I mean, it would have to be if somebody told on you. It would have to be somebody who would come and say, you know, go public and say, "Hey, man, he told on me." Yeah. So with the with the Rick Ross thing. Like what? Why that shit didn't happen, man? And why did you decide to like sue that nigga? Well, I'd hit him when we was in jail. We talked, mm -hmm. and he was supposed to come and see me, and he never did. <clears throat> I wasn't really tripping about that. I got out, you know, start doing my own thing. This lawyer came to me and said, "Man, Universal, you fifty million dollars." I said, "Go get it." Yeah. Just like that. That's all it was. I didn't even care about the lawsuit. Right. Did he know that? Did he ever reach out after that lawsuit? Nah. Did you? Cause you did you lose the lawsuit? I lost. Both of us lost. He lost about a million and a half dollars. Um, they say they say they paid they say they paid a, a million and a half in attorney fees. In attorney fees. And so the judge ordered me. I supposed to give him a five hundred thousand dollars back. So if they ever come for it, I'm, I'm gonna give it to him in quarters. <laughs> <laughs> so right now to this day you owe Rick Ross 500 in attorney fees him and Universal and Warner Brothers they say I owed him a million and a half but the judge only awarded him uh, 500,000 I can't fucking believe that man, man they had 15 attorneys well, what was really what was really stupid to me about the whole uh, whole get down uh, if I'm suing somebody or somebody suing me mm -hmm. I pay the lawyer 100,000 I'd be like, man, how much, how, how much more? Yeah. How much more is this going to cost me? And if they tell me, oh, 500 more thousand, I'd be like. Shit, I'm out of there. If I'm a no, no, me, I'd be like, hey, man, see a dude to take 50,000. Oh, yeah, yeah. See if he'd take 100. Mm -hmm. See if he'd take 150. I don't wait until we get up to a million and a half and I ain't even offered nothing. You know what I'm saying? To settle this shit, I'm going to let him take. He still probably still ain't getting no royalties behind that shit. You think he's going to come after you? I don't care. I'm going to have so much money. <laughs> Judge is going to be scared to fuck with me. Ain't yeah. nobody, nobody going to want to bother me. They're going to say, man, you, you going to fuck with that motherfucker there? Do you know who that is? The motherfucker runs weed. He runs boxing. He runs the movie theaters now. Now Universal. Now Universal people work for him now. He's the one putting out... I, I, I look at it, I'll probably be a year, two years putting out a movie every month. That's right. I'm, I'm going to have the money. Yeah. I'm going to be cash heavy. Uh, 
you know, one of the companies that, that I'm about to take over, he told me, he said, man, dollar bills. He said, I don't want them motherfuckers. Is it kind of like what Dame Dash is doing right now independently? Because he said it's kind of hard doing that shit, the film independently like that. I ain't paid attention to Dame and Dash. Are you doing your own shit? What I do, I'm kind of I'm kind of like, you know those things they put on the horse? Tunnel vision. Yeah, so I'm kind of tunnel vision. I only see what I do, and I don't really worry about what nobody else do or how they doing it. You know, like, I'm finna do some music, right? I just found a little motherfucker so cold, 16 years old. I ain't gonna mention his name because I don't want nobody to try to sign him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta have it. Whenever I touch something, everybody like it. Yeah. So um, this little young kid, uh, I'm trying to get all the paperwork done right now and uh, get him signed. Um, you know, I got a couple boxers that's probably gonna make more money than Floyd Mayweather made in boxing. Did you ever regret like not putting up all your money in the music shit and doing all that shit because you was around so many niggas? I don't regret anything. Damn. You know, you know, uh, people kept asking me that, right? And I didn't really know how to answer it. They'd be like, "Did you regret? Do you regret being in the game? Do you regret going to prison?" And I didn't really quite know how to answer it, right? And I did this interview in Chicago with this girl, and she titled the article. No regrets, only lessons. I say, damn, that's what I've been talking about. This whole no time. regrets, only lessons. I learned from all of that shit. So all of that that I went through made me who I am today. And, and you know, I feel like, shit, I'm right where I need to be right now today. You know, and ain't nowhere else in the world I'd rather be than right where I'm at right now. You know, uh, and, and I learned that when I was in jail. You know, when I first went to jail, you know, I was, oh, man, to get out you know i need to be you know anxious and then all of a sudden one day you know it came to me you right where you supposed to be mm -hmm. when the time comes see there's a time that has to come and when that happens you're gonna get out uh louis farrakhan said it the best um i was in in the chapel and i was listening to him and he was talking about when a woman's pregnant with a baby and if the baby continues to develop, there's nothing that she can do but let it come out. You know, right. She can't hold it in other than abort. All right, guys, we hit 50,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you click that button to subscribe. We appreciate y'all very, very much. Thank you.